very good afternoon my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new live trading video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking so as you can see from the title and the thumbnail in the video this video is going to be dedicated about trading the pound and actually we are going to focus on trading the pound nzd pound chf and pounds gpy uh, because these pairs actually giving us uh, so many profits and easier uh, setups now what we can see right here is by the way i'm gonna use the 20 pips a day strategy today and i have i have explained many times that when you are when we are trading the pound pairs we can actually switch only these are the pound pairs we can actually uh, switch only to the 15 minute time frame we don't really need to look at the bigger time frame so for now actually i'm gonna place the sell order yes exactly right here and i'm gonna explain to you the reason why did i place the sell order right here now of course first of all i have to mention that you please uh, look at the entry and look at this perfect entry right here the spread was almost like only one pip only and that is because i'm using ic markets and by the way I, I would really appreciate your support to that channel if you can open account in ic markets using the link provided below this video in the description open an account in ic markets using that link and give it a try believe me you're gonna have the best forex trading experience especially scalping in your life now let me please explain more about the reason why did i place the trade right here now first of all what we can notice right here is that the structure is actually uh, it's moving it's a, in, 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 a, in a bearish momentum and what we can see right here that every time the market has actually made a bearish breakout candle from any support level that support has immediately become a new resistance checking the history we can see that the market has respected that uh, price action every time when we see a support level being broken out from by a bearish breakout candle that support immediately become a resistance and so on if we keep tracking it we had right here a previous uh, support level right here that is a support has been broken out by this bearish breakout candle that support has also become another resistance and again right here we can see that we had another support level that support has been broken out again and became another resistance now the history has to repeat itself again the same thing i'm just i'm just following the market how is the market moving i'm just going along with it now what we can see right here is recently we had right here a previous support level that support has also been broken out from by this bearish breakout candle and right now the very same level of the support has now become a new resistance it's very simple very clear support and resistance strategy using the hit and run uh, or sorry the 20 pips a day rules and therefore i'm gonna of course quit my trade at the nearest support to my entry now of course since i have placed my trade right here on the resistance number one now if we look at the at the, at the uh, pattern right here we can see that the nearest support to my entry is exactly right here however uh, I want to stick to my strategy rules and therefore what we can see right here is that the target is actually 27 pips away from my entry and it's really up to you how to handle the strategy what I'm giving to you is the rules and therefore I'm going to stick to 20 pips only so I'm going to increase the take profit level to make it to make it only 20 pips and no more and then really I'm I really don't care what will happen after the market reach this entry if it's going to continue falling if it's going to reverse i really don't care what i care for is to get out of this trade with how many dollars 54 dollars only hmm, it's fine because i'm using smaller lots a smaller uh, lot size and i'm just trying to be careful because nowadays the market is not really stable so therefore let me just uh, increase the stop loss and just make it exactly almost uh, the same as the take profit now let's just wait and hopefully we can get a good uh, we can get uh, out with a good uh, profit out of this trade now let's just move to the other pairs by the way today angela actually has sent the signals to sell the pound let me show it to you right here as we can see these are the signals that we have sent uh, today uh, to our clients and as we can see um we, she is shorting the pound in all of its uh, pairs and also buying the euro aud and we had to close the chf gpy with 18 pips of loss i mean we also got pound nzd has hit in the take profit number one with 30 pips of profit as well so actually we are still in profit so far in this in the day 
we have to wait until the end of the day to see what will gonna happen with the signals however uh, what we are doing here is we are doing our best to be f very safe and reducing any possible losses to the maximum let's now move to the other pairs so right now i'm on the pound aud the pound aud actually should be ignored the reason is such market like this it's really ugly i really hate trading in a market like this that is not really the kind of market that you want to trade on especially when, when you see the market actually moving in high volatility like this and it doesn't really respect the support and resistance levels therefore i actually choose to ignore the pound aud moving to the pound cad pound cad actually seems a lot more convenient to me and i'm gonna place the sell order without even blinking let me explain the reason all right by the way uh from my lot size uh, sorry from my account here um from my account right here i'm going to invest uh let's say about 400 dollars so i have 400 dollars dedicated that i'm gonna invest them and because actually the, the deposit was almost 700 dollars so therefore i'm just looking at the amount and i'm thinking that i want to trade only with my profit so actually since morning i have made this profit 400 dollars and i'm gonna actually trade only the profit and just trying to invest it as long as my initial deposit is safe i am also safe that's my mentality and i have explained it actually so many times so anyway uh, we are aiming to bring this account to thousand five hundred dollars hopefully by end of this video however um, I'm not gonna force it to happen uh, I'm just gonna wait and uh, just to swim with the flow as long as there are good setups to enter I'm gonna enter them and if there are not no, no good setups I'm just gonna wait so allow me to explain the reason why did I place the trade right here now according to my strategy rules as we can see right here what we are having right here is a bearish breakout candle from the support right here so let's analyze it together now the strategy rules of my 20 pips a day says that we have to draw two lines like this at the top of the bearish breakout candle and another line at the lowest level of the bearish breakout candle the same candle now what we need to look is we need to what we need to do actually we need to look at the left to find the nearest resistance to this candle now what we look here what, what we can see right here is we are having here a support there is no resistance keep looking at the left only a support no resistance in the in the vision yet keep looking keep looking aha uh -huh. right here there it is we are having right here the resistance level not only here but also right here and also here and also right here that indicates that this level is as strong as a resistance and after seeing the bearish breakout candle this is exactly what I want gonna where I should actually start shorting the market that is exactly where the level uh, is gonna be respected again that resistance is gonna be again a resistance and it's gonna be resistance number one and since I have placed my trade right here I'm gonna exit my trade at the nearest support or resistance now by seeing my entry right here where is the nearest support or resistance to my entry let me zoom in all right so now we have zoomed in and by seeing that uh, we can see that here is the resistance and also if we look at the nearest support or resistance there is no resistance right here the support is only right there therefore this should be my take profit level uh, so let me just increase this take profit line so the take profit level from this trade is gonna be 16 pips which is gonna uh, secure me 50 dollars of profit which is really fine now let me just set the same as a stop loss so we are just going to be safe in case the market did not respect that level so the market is still rising and however i believe it's going to reverse that resistance has to be respected again that resistance it has to be respected and eventually the market actually has to reverse right here and it's going to continue the fall now we can see that the market is still going against our direction However, we have to put in our mind that we, we need to continue analyzing the trade even if the trade goes against us. So if the trade, if this candle gonna continue the rise, it's gonna hit actually right here. There is the same level of resistance number one. So therefore we can expect the market to reverse right here at resistance number two. So we need to actually 
continue analyzing the trade or the market once it goes against our direction don't stop analyzing to know what will gonna happen you have to stop if you see for example a bullish breakout candle from that resistance from that resistance right here if you see here a bullish breakout candle most likely it means that the market is gonna continue the rise and therefore we have to cancel the trade with the loss however if we see that we are having here a good opportunity for the next reversal then don't close your trade just wait for it actually to reverse exactly at the same level and then it's gonna be hopefully in profit so all in all uh, both of these trades are going right now in the, in the loss so far we have to wait and see what will gonna happen so allow me please to pause the recording and i'll be back to you later to show you what will gonna happen with these two trades and also we will open the next trades and as we can see my friends uh, the pound cad is very close to hit the take profit level and also the pound nzd is going well as also uh, it is going towards our target i'm actually thinking to cancel or oh, sorry close the trade already because as we can see the pair seems like it's now reversing and 13 pips is fine because we are aiming 15 pips and just two pips uh, less than the target is really fine for me so therefore i'm gonna close the pound cad accepting the 13 pips of profit and the account right now is above 1236 dollars fantastic now one of the targets have been reached now let's look at the pound nzd a pound nzd is also going well and let's wait and see what will gonna happen with this trade seems like it's gonna take some time or maybe it's gonna take a while we need to wait for it to reverse for another 13 pips uh, meanwhile let's just search in the other pairs and let's see what we have here now what we can see right here actually interesting for the pound um jpy we can see that the pair right here is at the peak of that resistance which is right here that peak of the resistance has also been respected right here as we can see uh, right here so meaning that resistance seems strong and it was also uh, right here as a resistance uh, as a resistance level what we can notice right here is that the pair has been ranging quite a long time at this resistance and seems like I'm actually um, I'm really thinking if I should open the trade right now or not that's why I'm just uh, not sure what to say because what I can see right here is a strong resistance level on the 15 minute time frame meanwhile uh, the pair seems like it's actually attempting to move in a bullish momentum right here what we can see what I'm seeing right here is another resistance that is a resistance and that's a bullish breakout candle and that's the support right here so it seems like this support has been retested after the bullish breakout candle and seems like the pound jpy is gonna actually rise a little bit more and indeed it's rising so we need to wait for the best and the right moment to start shorting the pair i think the moment right now is it's not the right moment it's the wrong moment to start shorting the pair and uh, not to mention of course let me just show you this this is very interesting let me show you what we can see right here is on the pound gpy as i told you we had right here a previous resistance level let me just zoom out so as i mentioned to you before we are having here so many attempts of a resistance and later on what happened is that the market has actually made the bearish breakout candle right here uh, that resistance has become already another support level that support has been immediately broken out by this bearish breakout candle now look what happened after that what happened after that that the market has actually made a pullback right here and right here it has reversed that is the resistance number one the market has already reversed for uh, that level and it already went down all the way to the nearest support which is right here and that is exactly 17 pips away from the entry so therefore that is my strategy my friends that is what we are that is exactly where we should place our sell order on the first attempt of the resistance or the support okay wait a minute that's a good price action that's a good price action indicating a bearish reversal definitely I'm, I'm going to short the pair and immediately the short has been placed really this is why i love ic markets the servers are quite fast and the trade has been opened immediately anyway um once you see this price action this candle which look like that which looks like this on the resistance with a small wick at its top and long tail at the bottom that is really a good price action indicating a bearish reversal 
that is a strong indicator. It's a strong one. And I believe it and I trusted this. So therefore, I decided to open my trade right here. And hopefully it's going to go uh, go well. And we will make some good profits out of it. Let's see what will gonna happen now. So I need to place my, my take profit level at the nearest support or resistance to my entry. Now, of course, let's analyze this together because it's quite important. What we are having right here is a resistance level and I have placed my trade right here. And the nearest support or resistance to my entry is exactly this one right here. The next support is actually right here. So here we're having two supports. One is this level here and the other one is right here. Of course, since my strategy says that we should place our take profit at the nearest support, so the nearest support is actually exactly right here. That's going to be my take profit level. And no matter how many pips is it, it is, sorry. And it's 15 pips, which is really fine. It's going to provide me $58, which is really fine. Now, let's just set the same or almost the same to the stop loss. And by that, we are having so far two trades opened and uh, in, in total, three trades opened in this live trading session. All right. So that's uh, going to be the, the last trade in this video. Let me know, please pause the recording and I'll be back to you later to show you what will going to happen with these three trades. And once we close them in profit and if in case I had to close them in a loss, then there will be more trades to come. All right. Yes, sadly, I was talking on the phone when that trade of the pound and ZD has actually hit in the take profit number one. And as you can see, I have already closed the trade and we have got 15 pips of profit from that trade, which is really fine. Uh, we have to stick to the strat strategy and be sure that we are following it correctly because getting greedy is actually not going to help you, not going to help anyone. I know you are aiming 20 pips from this trade and because it's called a 20 pips a day strategy. However, we have to, fo to follow what is the market actually providing us. Now, let's look at the pound JPY. For the pound JPY, we can see that the trade, or sorry, the candles on the 15 minute time frame has actually made an attempt to break out from that resistance. And I told you, my friends, that price action right here is very trustworthy. And as we can see, the market has actually tried to trick us and making us thinking that it's actually breaking out from it. However, eventually, another strong bearish breakout candle has appeared and right now this market is falling down so we can expect right now that resistance right here is going to be respected again right let me just show you that resistance right here is going to again be respected right after this bearish breakout candle has appeared and as we can see the market is seem is, is seemingly rising but however it's actually giving up and it's respecting that resistance because we can see right here the bearish breakout candle. So let's now just wait and see what will gonna happen. I'm sure this trade is gonna bring us profits and hopefully we're gonna make at least um, $58 from this trade, hopefully. So this account is gonna be above $1,300, which is actually fine. So let me now please pause the recording and I'll be back to you later in just a few minutes. All right, seems like something has just, just happened in the market and this strong candle has just appeared and I believe I'm going to close the trade, right? Yes, it already hit the stop loss. So we have lost about $58 from this trade. Uh, <clears throat> something happened in the market. I need to check one second. Give me a second. Actually, I'm not able to find anything uh, on the news. Uh, mm, just a second, guys. I'm going to need to pause again. I'm certainly sure it's something about the Japanese yen, as we can see right here. One second. Uh, one second, guys. All right. As we can see right here, uh, pound JPY has jumped suddenly. USD JPY has some, uh, jumped suddenly. CHF JPY as well. Euro JPY. Something happened suddenly, all of a sudden, on the all of the JPY pairs. So. Regarding also the uh, signals that we have sent today, if anything has been affected because of this, please understand this is not our fault. Something unexpected happened and we are looking to find what is it. However, as a Forex trader, we always have to be prepared for such incident and therefore let's try to find another opportunity to recover from this trade. I really wish right now that I have left the pound in ZD. Pound in ZD has fallen to almost 40 pips. Now, let's just analyze the pound JPY. 
sorry, pound and ZD. <clears throat> pound and ZD is now, now moving in a strong bearish momentum and seems like it's gonna retest the broken support right here. And I think it's already retest retesting it. And therefore I think I'm gonna uh, short the pair. I'm gonna place the short right now. Yes, that is the right thing to do. You have to ask yourself, what is the right thing to do when you see the pair moving strongly down like this? If it's, if, 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 if for example, let's say that you have placed your buy order. Is really placing the buy order right here is the right thing? The pair is obviously moving in a strong bearish momentum and it's obviously making the breakout right now from that support. And therefore you need to swim with the flow and just go along with it. Actually, that is different strategy than the 20 pips a day. I'm just aiming to recover the losses from the pound GPY and I'm just showing you the right way to do it. I don't want you to learn to revenge the market when you lose the trade. However, I was, uh, frankly speaking, I was really lucky because it happened just right here in front of you and I was able to find this setup immediately. I was lucky. Honestly speaking, I was just lucky. In nor nor normal circumstances, in usual scenarios, it might take actually more than one hour or two hours to find the right setup. So, as you can see, the pair is still moving. The, st the pair is still falling and is falling below that support. Now, allow me please to pause the recording and I'll be back to you later to show you what will gonna happen with this trade and if we can actually recover the losses plus some good profits. Yep, here it is. Um, BioNTech COVID-19 vaccine, 19% effective effective in interim analysis of phase three trial, company says. Actually, this news has just hit the market right now uh, one, once I was actually in, my, in the trade. And I want everyone to understand, um, especially those who are in our premium group of Forex signals, such thing is not uh, our fault. We cannot be blamed for what happened. What happened is completely unexpected and it was just out of nowhere. The signals were uh, the signals were going very well actually in the profit however suddenly this news hit the market and it has changed the, the direction of all the japanese pairs i wish you guys understand what happened it was not our fault and we will do our best of course to recover any potential losses from these news meanwhile uh, the pound in zd is not going well however i'm certainly sure it's gonna continue the fall Right now, the market is actually trying to reverse from the support level, but the strength of the uh, bearish momentum is actually greater than the bullish momentum. And therefore, I'm certainly sure as well that we're going to recover from this trade. Just to be safe, I'm going to set a stop loss right here. 34 pips. Um, I think you have never seen me trading in this style, style before. Um, this is like my emergency style of trading. Uh, I'm just entering big lot and just finding uh, or sorry actually looking for any strong momentum and just go along with it I do that usually when I see any stronger news actually or uh, high impact news uh, hitting the market and affecting the uh, the way the pair moves however uh, let's just wait some time and see what will gonna happen I'm sure the pound NZD is gonna continue the fall however uh, it might not be with this candle, might be, it might be on the next candle. This candle still have five minutes to expire, so let's just wait and see what will gonna happen. So, allow me now please again to pause the recording and I'll be back to you shortly. All right, I have to fix my mistake. Um, recently only we happened to know that the news was actually affecting only the pound, uh, sorry, only the JPY pairs. And because I was in rush and didn't really think uh, so much, I rushed to sell the pound NZD. That was really not the right decision to do. Uh, as I said before, all of the uh, Japanese yen pairs are rising, and I should have uh, go. Uh, or should, I should have went along with them. So therefore, I want to fix my mistake actually, and I'm going to place the buy order for the pound JPY. Now I'm gonna set uh, my buy order right here. Let me explain to you the reason. Uh, we can see right here on the top of the resistance, we're having right here a small tail. That small tail actually represents a support for me. And right now is the, oh shit man, <laughs> I guess a mistake. I was going to reduce the lot size, but I was in rush and forgot to do it because I was explaining to you about uh, that level. So anyway, uh, should be fine, still should be fine. We have placed the buy order right here at the lowest level of the peak of the resistance. So 
what I'm trying to explain to you is the peak of the resistance still has a support in it still has this small tail right here that small tail here representing actually a tiny support level it's not of course a key support at all and it's just meaning that the pair or uh, it must just it just making a pullback and right now is the is the time or this is where exactly the pair should continue the reverse or should continue the rise so the pullback should actually uh, be expired right on the top, uh, sorry, right on the bottom of that support level right here. As you can see, uh, it's somehow, um, how can I say that in, in the right way? It's actually tough time to trade and I'm doing my best to recover the losses. Actually, I'm very glad it happened right in front of you. So you will understand more about uh, how we can recover the losses and of course i don't want anyone to think that every day is a good day for me some days like this actually the market is really tough but however uh, these things happens but it doesn't mean that we should quit trading we have to continue trading um, we have also to expect these losses also they are actually always in our mind not to mention of course that i mentioned earlier that my initial uh, deposit is still safe and i'm trading right now with the profits so everything should be fine so far now allow me please again to pause the recording and i'll be back to you later to show you what will gonna happen with these two running trades oh yes yes i'm very happy and i'm very glad for what happened look at that i have made the right decision i closed the pound nzd quickly and i kept the trade for the pound gpy with the buy order as i told you from that support right here and <laughs> i'm very happy and i'm very excited for what happened because I have proven my point. I have proven that what I'm teaching here is correct. And my, my strategy is actually very good. To be honest with you, this is very big amount. And usually I don't trade that much. I just kept the trade running. I kept it running because I thought this is a really good chance and I'm going to take every single bit of it. And I, have did, I, 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 <laughs> I did that. And as you can see, I have made $200 profit from that trade, which is really totally fine. And I have closed that trade right now. The account finally is above $1,300, but I'm really, really happy for what happened. Actually, usually when I have this amount in the, in, the, in the account, I open on the trade, I'm just aiming $50 or $60 as a profit. But aiming $200 in one single trade, that's honestly not my style, unless I have bigger account than that. However, I have proven my point here that um, my strategy really works. And if you swim with the flow, when this... When, when, when such things happens, you have to swim with the flow like this. You have to understand that you cannot force the market to move in your direction. I saw that the pound, ha uh, sorry, the, the Japanese yen has moved suddenly after announcing the updates about the vaccine. And therefore, I just went along with it. I didn't fight the market. I saw all the pound pairs, uh, sorry, all, <laughs> all the Japanese yen pairs are rising. And I decided to go along with it. And I just have made the good profit as you have, you have seen. So it was really a very good live trading session for sure and for our respectful uh, members in the premium group no worries my friends tomorrow is going to be another good day and hopefully uh, we are going to actually bring you tons of profits and we are going to recover any potential losses happened because of these unexpected news so until then i hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching